Hello friends, today we will see how to draw schematic and how to design PCB in easy EDA software. So remember this schema schematic, take a screenshot of it and we will proceed further. Let's start with easy EDA just by clicking on it. Now you can see like easy EDA will start and as I told you earlier also it is completely free it's a pro version as well here you can just go and create a new project give a name whichever you want to give here i'm giving the name that is power supply because we will go with the power supply as i earlier show you the diagram and select the location where whenever you want to save your project here your project has been created you can see like schematic is there and pcb is also there. so we need to go to p1 that is the schematic and if you want you can change rename the name of the schematic one so i'm giving here again a power supply whichever you want to go give the name you can okay now on a right hand side you can see number of check boxes over there so there is the easyedia.com mention as the company so you can just go and give the name if you are you want to give your name you can give it okay now then there is a part where you can see like who prepared the sheet who drawn it who approved it and everything so in a drawn column i'm da, da, giving my name that is electronic mentosima ems i'm giving reviewed so there is a someone who review it if you are doing this for company then you are the person who is preparing and your senior one will be the reviewer i guess so give the name if you are a student give your name as a drawn and prepare for your teacher's name and if you want to go go with the virgin here you can give the name as v1.0 now just go to the devices here number of devices number of lists i mentioned over there whichever component you want to select just go and click on the plus sign so here i want to select the capacitor but again in a capacitor there are number of capacitor you will see the image of it so just go and see the image if you are still confused go with the data sheets because that option is also available over there number of components are there if you are not able to see or if the component is not available you can see request part so you can if you click on it you will directly go to the website there is a mention like to whom you need to message or mail with the part and company number etc and believe me easy eda will e freely create the components footprint so here just go with the film capacitor because we need right now film capacitor just select the capacitance of it because there is a no number of filters available select the voltage whichever you want and then just go with it okay so here you can see there is a uh, like yes uh, we, we actually not have available that because that is not for the 400 plus volt so we will go with the other capacitors that is the polyester cap capacitor and that is for the 450 volt that is important because we are giving the, that to the AC because this is the capacitance power supply we are creating over here so yes you can see the number of capacitors so place option is there that means you have that capacitor footprint and 2d 3d and everything over there so just go and place it in a schematic you will hardly see the symbol but in a 2d and 3d model uh, not in a 2d but in 3d model you are able to see the actual capacitor now i'm clicking all the components whichever i want and then i'll place them wiring to the component is again very easy part there are number of uh, filters you can see you can just go and filter out the component whichever you want if you have the footprint and the schematic sorry symbol of the component then yes you can directly go with it but if you don't then just mail to the EZDA team and believe me they will make in a two days maximum two to three days maximum and you will get the schematic uh, sorry you will get the symbol and footprint you cannot uh, there is no need to go for the request part okay so here select the component whichever you want i'm just fa fast for forwarding this part and creating placing all the components first if you go with the proper component by using these filters then there is no need to edit the component edit the footprint but in easy EDA, it is again very easy task to edit the footprint as well because creating a new 
footprint is a task but editing the previous one or currently whichever you having is a really easy part so just go with that and you can see like a uh, wiring is also very easy you can move the wires components easily and that's it so just go step by step arrange the components look at the diagram whatever component you want use a filter to select the proper components if component not available go with the request new part option as well and that's it just give uh, use the proper naming conventions over here to understand in a future here you can easily ask easy eda to make your pcb as well because there is that option is also available you can ask for the components you can ask for the schematic because easy eda will generate your bomb that is bill of material they will general generate gerber as well to manufacture your pcb and they allow you to make this easy eda file to export in ultium they allow you to import ultium file as well and they will give you dot step file that will show you the 3d model as well okay so here are number of possible and uh, best options available with easy eda and the important very important point is it's a completely free of cost i don't think so any of the software will allow you to go with the free they provide you some demo sessions or some crack version you need to install that is illegal of course but in case of azda everything is legal you have lifetime free license for azda so believe me this is the best ever software i have tried for the pcb designing for schematic for 3d weaving and everything so go with the easy eda and if you want to know like how to install and from where i'll put the link in a description box so go and check over there the thing here is like you can go with the cloud as well as you can go with the offline completely you have option to go half like you can save the data on offline as well as on a cloud if your data is on a cloud complete online you can access it from any corner of the world and that's the best part of it so go with the easy eda if you want and just here i'm about to done with my component placing and now we will make the pcb you can change by space its orientation vertical and horizontal you can change the place you can edit its a name and everything now let's go with the pcb so just need to click on the pcb because we done with the schematic and here you will get the black screen now what you need to do is first you need to just make a outline of a board whatever you want if you have some fixed dimensions go with that because you can easily read the dimensions if you want to change it from mil to mm whichever you want to do like i'll go with the mm yes of course and i'll change its dimension from the above like uh, scale i can select the check what dimension i have selected like you can see it's a 69.342 mm so just change its length to 50 and now reshape your board's outline it is that much easy if you want like if you have some specific dimensions if you want to place any component on a specific uh, point of the screen or something you have you can just go with that now here i have changed the width and yes you can see like i changed the dimensions of my pcb outline and will place the components here inside it so right now you can zoom in and out it just by your mouse rotating it's a scroll okay and if you press ctrl plus mouse then it will change its a position so these are the shortcut keys i'm telling you and here i'll put that on a 0 0 x and y axis that's it so now just i uh, you can see the arrow that is showing some rounded arrow over there just apply the changes and this will do take all the components on a board now you can see the red one because at the top layer all the components are towards the top layer side but i want all smd towards the bottom side and all through holes towards the 
top side and I just want a single sided PCB if you have some critical components or size related issue and want to go with the double side you can so that is again not the big task just select the component one by one and change its layer because on the right corner in the property you can easily able to find what its layer is so whatever component you will select just go and click on a mouse and you will see it's a layer change it from top to bottom or bottom to top and that's it for the bottom side you will see all the component in a blue these are the standard if you want to change the color of it you have that option again but i don't think so that is needed so on a bottom side component you will see blue it's a pad in a blue color on a top side you will see it's a red that's it and now i'm just placing the component now you can see some rat lines over there so you can easily uh, you can remove if you want to view the right lines you can go and on a view you can see all the right lines if you want to hide it there is an option for the right lines you will you can hide it basically the right lines are nothing but the indication to tell the user that you can go and fix connect this component to this one that's it nothing else but that right line most probably will confuse you and uh, you are not able to take some decision if you select any component you will see the right line and how this component will go and connect with the other one so if you are okay with the right lines go with it but i'm i think i need to hide the right lines because whenever i'll select the component the right line will automatically i can see so now you can see whatever the dimension I have selected which is basically the bigger one and I don't need that big dimension. So now I'll change the dimension because again that's not the big deal. Just click on the right outline of the border and yes uh, unlock it and give it a dimension because you can randomly give any dimension but instead of going with some point dimensions go with the proper one and yes do that so here we will we are here and now i'm just connecting the wires it is that much easy you can just go and select on the kind of z over there and connect it if you go on any terminal and uh, if you click on it now i'm changing the width of this because it's a ac part so instead of go with the point one two I'll go with the point 0.5 or more than that because I am having much more space so one uh, AC is basically nothing but the high voltage and have some current so instead of going with point 0.1 to 7 mm I'll go with the 1 mm that's it and here if I click on that uh, terminal of the component I'm easily get like where I need to go and connect it so if you are not selecting a right a right line hiding it it will actually not affect it will basically guide you from uh, easily instead of confusing you so here i'm just connecting the lines and uh, making all the connections whichever i have if uh, in some cases i want to change the width of the track in some cases i want to go with the same width in ac side i selected 1 mm width and on the dc uh, like on the dc side after the bridge i have connected some ac lines and that are for uh, that are 0.127 mm width test point which is basically i don't think so i need but i just put it to check whether i need it or not and here i connecting the components here again here let's pour the copper track and name it to the ground okay so here i'll pour the copper tracks if there is some changes i have done in a schematic i can import that by just the arrow and then the change will happen at the pcb side as well so here how we can make schematic in easy eda how we import that how we design pcb how we will see 3d model of it how we will go for the 2d model everything you can do here in easy eda and the thing here is there is no charge they will ask you okay so i will suggest go with the easy eda this is the best software to design your pcb it's completely free of cost if you are a beginner it is 
very good to learn the things to design the design the components to edit the footprints and all the things so to enhance your skill go with the easy eda let's see how our pcb will look like in real life so we can see the 3d model of it and uh, you just need to go to 3d mention over there on a left upper corner and you will get how exactly the pcb will look like hope you understand please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching